Kansas City, the heart of the Midwest, home of arguably the best barbecue in America, and of course the Kansas City Chiefs. But Sprint Center today plays host to stop two of Street League Skateboarding's DC Pro Tour. Fueled by Monster Energy. Hey everybody, I am Sal Masakela. Joining me is two decade professional street skateboarder, Felix Arguez and Felix, stop two, and there's one word on everyone's mind, Nija. Nija Houston, this kid, the defending champion from last year's season one, came to Seattle, destroyed everyone's minds, and then yesterday in qualifying, keeps it moving. He's the most dominant guy in skateboarding right now. He has emerged to become the most dominant force in competitive skateboarding. He just steadily delivers the most technical and difficult tricks ever documented. The backside 270 to nose blunt that gave him a 9.9 .9 was the highest score trick in the history of Street League. Indeed, uh, we are going to see the best skateboarding on the planet right now. All of the athletes talking about how incredible this course is. Why? Let's find out from the commissioner, Mr. Rob Deerdick. How are you guys doing today? Again, we are set for another incredible skateboarding contest, and I can assure you every single one of these pros thinks they got a shot to beat Nigel today. Everyone loves this course. It's completely unique. We've got a super new tech section that's, you know, really leveled the playing field. In our big section, guys are flying high right off the top, but more than anything, We've got an innovation section going on where we're doing one section where the single best trick gets scored. So we're going to open up this show with some of the most insane skateboarding tricks the world has ever seen. So get ready. It's going to be incredible. Thank you, Rob. This crowd here at Sprint Center fired up for our 10 finalists to get incredible, as Rob said. Ryan Sheckler, who uh, Put it down in our last chance qualifier. We'll show you that later. Billy Marks, what kind of skater are we looking at there? I mean, Billy Mark goes big, but then he goes big and tech. So we're going to see a lot of flip action onto these rails and stuff like that. Definitely takes big risks. And then you got the uh, the SoCal Posse there. Mike Taylor, Paul Rodriguez, Chaz Ortiz, 16 years old. Feels like a, a veteran out of Chicago. The Australian Shane O'Neill, great job in, the, in that tech section. We got Tori Powell as part of that Valley Posse. You know, he's got some of the more technical, exciting combinations there and stuff. And the local boy, raised just 20 miles outside of town, here's Sean Malto. Chris Cole looks like he's really starting to find his rhythm in Street League. And of course, the most dominant force right now ja. in Street League skateboarding. Night ja. Houston, the man to beat. Earlier in our last chance qualifier, uh, this guy Ryan Sheckler said, hey guys, I belong in the final. Huge cap flip right there. We're going to check in with Erica Yeri right now, she our fourth is, member of our team. She is with Sean Malto, the local boy. All right, Sean, you didn't get to make it last time out to Seattle. We know you were out on injury. Can you tell us about an update? Yeah, well, you know, I tore my meniscus, and uh, I've been doing rehab for the last eight weeks, and uh, I'm feeling pretty good here today. All right, well, you qualified third yesterday with an 80. You did outstanding. You had the whole crowd on their feet chanting your name. What's it like having all these people out here behind you? You know, it's an amazing feeling. Uh, I'm hyped that they had a contest in my hometown in Kansas City. And uh, yeah, I love all the fans and everyone that came out. All right, well, thanks, Sean, and good luck today. Uh, thank you. It was so, so great in qualifying yesterday to see that hometown love from Malto. Here are the rules for today's competition. We have three sections. In the tech section, we're going to have 10 skaters, seven attempts, and two are eliminated. In the line section, we have eight skaters, five attempts, and two are eliminated. In the big section, we have six skaters, seven attempts, and there will be one champion. $150,000 going to that champion. We have the best judges uh, in skateboarding because all these guys can skate incredibly. We are set. Our final coming up. It's a playoff atmosphere here at Sprint Center. Stay with us. Street League Skateboarding is brought to you by DC. DC Skateboarding since 1994. By Monster. Street League Skateboarding's Chris Cole and Shane O'Neill are fueled by Monster Energy. By Build My Parents Spend Smart Card, designed for teens, young adults, and their parents. And 
by Windows 7. All you really need for college. Oh, Sprint Center is loaded with some skateboard fans, man. Feel the excitement right now for this final here. And these Kansas City fans, man, all weekend, just so supportive there. You see him with the, with the Malto cards. They're cheering for him like he's an MVP. Yep, they got a nice little chant going, let's go Malto. Scoring, you gotta, you gotta get big scores to win. And Rob Deerdick will, ex will explain to us exactly how the scoring works here at Street League. For your folks at home, this is a live scoring strip. So I'd like to explain it to you because it might get a little confusing from time to time. We set off with six names on this strip. Now, depending on what place you are, it moves right to left. So if you're all the way in 10th, it's going to slide down to the 10th spot. Now, green means it's your turn to go. Once you've gone, it turns red. And if it's gray, that means you have yet to go in this round. And if you land a trick and move up the board, bink, you move on up, someone moves behind you. That's a quick education on how the scoring strip works. Follow the skaters trick for trick as they move all up and down this board. Someone going for the win. Man, that Rob Deerdick is something else. I mean, I, I learned a lot in that 30 seconds. Yeah, it was like magic how he would just move the person across with his finger. Exactly. Here is the tech section. What are we going to see here, Felix? I mean, it's such a complicated tech section that the, the variations are, are, are forever. First We're probably up. gonna see Billy Marks maybe here on this rail section. I see Nigel do a never done before trick in practice, did a big spin to front feeble on there. Then we got this section here, maybe Mike Moe could bust a couple tricks there. Shane O'Neill, that's probably his strongest area right there. Then this kicker over here, I think that kicker's a little bit stronger for Chris Cole, Ryan Sheckler. Billy Marks likes flying off that kicker as well. Here is our lineup here in the tech section. Ryan Sheckler, Billy Marks, Mikey Taylor, Paul Rodriguez, Chaz Ortiz. Then Shane O'Neill, Tori Budwill, Sean Malto, Chris Cole, and Nigel Houston, who was our number one qualifier, breaking the 100 point mark yet again, as he did in Seattle. Now, Felix, unlike in qualifying where it was seven attempts and we accumulated all the scores. In our tech section today, the best trick is going to get it done. One score getting it done, and first out the gates is gonna be Ryan Sheckler. I think Ryan Sheckler's gonna be coming hot and head for that kicker right there, Sal. It's kind of a strong area for him. What was he going for there? You know what, it's hard to tell, because he has that half cap to back Smith, and he also has it to back tail. So, because it was a bail, I'm not sure exactly where he's headed. All right. Next up in his first final is Billy Marks. Oh, man, Billy Marks with the cap flip takes a card out of Sheckler's deck. So now Sheckler's not going to be able to deliver that in this section. Woo! Billy Mark said it might be my first final, but I belong. Big score, an 8.2 out of a possible 10. Now the cab kickflip is a fakey to fakey. 360 Ollie with the flip in there. Executed flawlessly off of that bump and over those big four stairs right there. Next up, Mikey Taylor, who's been in town uh, a little bit earlier than a lot of the guys, training with Sean Malto in his new training facility just down the road. Yep. Skated really, really well and consistent uh, in qualifying. <laughs> Mikey, as expected, heads right to the rail. He's looking for a 270 to front board. I also seen him do that in practice. Now, these guys have to lay down the best trick they could possibly make, because two guys are going to be gone. Paul Rodriguez, 26 years old. It seems like just yesterday, in 2002, he was a, a, a rookie, rookie of the year, and everyone was excited. And what he's become is uh, just a name synonymous with skateboarding. There you see him with the DC game coming in. As I expected, he headed right to the bench with Barry heel flip to nose grind. We got uh, Billy Marks right there with an 8.2. That's actually the highest scored trick in the tech section. All right, Jazz Ortiz out of Chicago. His family 
missed, their, 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 their flight got canceled coming into town. They had a rental car at the airport. Oh, wow. <laughs> and driving <laughs> side tail side, big spin out. 500 miles in the car ride. You gotta love his pops. It, uh, it, it worked out good for him. Yep. So we got a kick flip, backside tail slide. Slides the entire block. Big spin out. That's some street league skateboarding right there. Woo. Combos for days. It's a 7.6. Little bit behind our leader, who has the overall highest trick of the season in the tech section with that 8.2. Next up out of Melbourne, Australia, mate. Shane O'Neill, uh, who was really consistent in the tech section yesterday. Well, yesterday, Shane O'Neill almost qualified with just one section. He scored a 43.2 just in the tech section. Why is it that we're seeing the highest scores in the tech section that we've really been seeing? We didn't see these kind of scores yesterday. You know what I'm thinking, Sal? It's how everybody is saying the same thing. This is one of their favorite courses. I think that's proving with these scores. Right. Tory Pudwell had a great qualifying, was on fire yesterday. Captain excitement, backside hey. spin grind, right at the top of that A-frame rail, turns it over into a feeble ground. Board control. 7.6 is a good score. Ooh. It's critical staying These on that rail are... over the bench. And the local boy right now, 20 miles away, raising Leningrad, listen to this crowd for Sean Malta. for life right here. Look at the Malto fans. They got the t-shirts. And a 7.7. 7, 7. 7 for Malto on the board. Yep. And, and a respectable second place. 29 years old. And he's the elder uh, he's the elder of this group, Chris Cole, but don't let that fool you. Qualified second yesterday. And front board fakie. Chris Cole knows the whole area really well, so it's really unpredictable where he's going to head to. 6.8, respectable score. Chris Cole's in fourth place. And there he is, out of Sacramento, California, the defending street league champion. Won the first stop in Seattle. Oh, man. What are you doing to our brains right now? Now, you see, he took the same trick that Chaz Ortiz did on the bench. He took it to the handrail. Okay, Much more critical. That score would have been great. Rob Deerdick, your thoughts after one run put down? I mean, you see two different strategies. You know the pressure's off when you get your first trick done. You know, Ryan Sheckler's definitely feeling it. Well, Ryan lost a trick when Billy Marks pulled out the cat flip on him just before he got to it. Yeah, but again, it, you know, it's, it's nothing says he can't do the same trick again. And he's got that really wired. But Billy, Billy's definitely going to skate with freedom now. He's pretty much guaranteed himself a spot. Definitely weight off the shoulders. And remember, folks at home, we will be dropping two competitors out of this group. So the two lowest scores from this group of 10 will be uh, joining the crowd to watch. So strategy. Down. Oh, front board right there. His strategy is going big. Yeah. I think uh, yesterday there was a little bit more of a conservative approach. Now it's kind of like a best trick within the section. So you're skating, you know, just letting it rip right the start. All seven tries. Toughest thing here, once you know the lights are on, the cameras are on, and everything, you really have to be able to block that out. Paul's one of the most progressive skateboarders in history, right there. Oh, Chaz Ortiz! Now a big one back lift. Almost seems like the younger guys are just a lot more relaxed out there. A lot more relaxed, but a lot more, a little bit more fire as well. Mm. And Chaz looks like he's out there. Doing, doing business. Just a good feeling, I guess, seeing that star rise, you know? <laughs> Neil Nolliff with no slide. Unlikely two goals for Shane O'Neill in his most comfortable zone. We saw him make every trick in the tech section yesterday. He was 100%. Oh, man. 
Tech 360 with a flip. I think they kind of pace themselves. Woo! Double half tap, no slide. Back set 270 out with a heel flip. I mean, stuff that the titles just need like a two page spread to have the caption. <laughs> Here comes Nigel. It's going to be a complicated one to do right there because the rail's a little bit short. Those poles underneath might grab your truck. He's really looking for that kick foot backside tail slide big spin out. I think he's kind of set on it. Nigel's one of those guys that has that checklist and kind of checks them all off. Oh! Wow. And there you see our Windows fan zone. We got some fans out there giving their instant scores. You know, the ISX, the instant scoring experience, it's only live here at the Street League. You get to see exactly what these guys are scoring on the spot. And Sheckler gets an 8.7 for that. Hey, look, look at the fan zone. There you look, go. Those guys, are they might be future judges at Street League. Right there with them with 8.4. High, highest score trick of the tech section. A cat back tail is a very elusive trick. You don't see it on Hubbard. Especially on a, on a bump to Hubbard. For, for people at home who don't know what a, what a hubba is, what is a hubba? Well, hubba came from a spot in San Francisco, which was this big ledge that was downstairs, and it just was named the hubba. Right. So ever since then, that big ledge has followed, you know, street courses and plazas all over the world, and to skaters, it's just an afterthought. You see a ledge downstairs, we call it a hubba. All right. Here comes Mike Taylor, dancing down that rail, almost, almost forward. It's nice to see you're smiling after that, Mikey. You can see the precision that goes into these tricks, and uh, especially when it gets critical on a rail like that, there's, there's prices that can be paid. I mean, let's talk about critical on the rail. I, mean, I just missed two tricks in a row. That's pretty rare right there. Whoa! Not exactly how he wanted to do it, but he held it up there, made his tricks move. The varial heel flip to stand up backside nose ground. Yeah, just recognize how difficult that is to give Paul 7.4. It's tied with Mikey for fifth place right now. So interesting. Again, we, we're going to drop two skaters. Shane O'Neill and Nigel Houston right now, if this thing was over, they would not be moving on. So they are also two of the highest qualifying guys yesterday. You can say favorites for the event. You have to put something on the board. Shane O'Neill needs a 6.8 or better. Perfect grind, effortlessly. He does it so smooth, I don't know if he's gonna get that. Oh, 6.2, just under what he needed. But Nigel really needs to put something on the board right here so he could breathe on those last couple tries. For Shane, I'm sure, uh, making the trick, even though he didn't get the score, he needed probably a little bit of ammo. Well, the level of technical skating that regularly delivers, now it's a quick grind, it's nothing. He's gonna be doing something out of that, probably. Sean Malto coming off of uh, some surgery. Is injured now at our first stop, but that knee is healed up. Yeah, he came in here and you're like, oh, really? You, you, you just had surgery? I think he got healed by divine grace, his environment. Support from the fans. Chris Cole has been focused and in qualifying had just great strategy. Uh, Get into this mix. There it is. Half tap no side 270 out. Molly Hilford. Such a complicated trick you would only see in a video a few years back. You now see in person after two tries. Great score for Cole. 8.1 in the third place. And this is 
not something that we're remotely used to seeing. I'm completely confused, Sal. Nigel Houston with three fails in a row. Is he gonna get it together? Billy Marks got it started with that big make. Chaz Ortiz will be back in the tech section. Welcome back, Sprint Center, Kansas City, hosting stop two of Street League Skateboarding. And we are in the midst of our tech section, about to take our fourth of seven runs. And taking a look at Ryan Sheckler. This is a heated final right here, Sal. You guys normally average. Oh, man, I'll have to take a break on that. For that pack cap backspin, backs that 180 out. Incredible. I don't think we've ever seen that in competition. This kid is on one today. Woo! He gets an 8.8. .8. Ryan Sheckler sitting on top pretty. But what I was stating was the average landed trick right now, Sal, is a six, almost a seven or greater. That's unheard of. It's two points higher than the average landed trick ever in Street League. Well, it just speaks to how much these guys have been loving this course. But really, this, the shocker for me right now is that we are, going. we are almost with four in the fourth seven attempts. Nigel Houston, the defending champ, the number one qualifier, is on the outside looking in. Has not made a trip yet. You know what? I think he just had a, down. I think he had a poor choice for the first trick that he tried. He got stuck on it. He dedicated three tricks to it. Now he needs a mate. But not only does he need a mate, he needs a mate of a seven or greater. We could have a crazy upset right here. Uh, he's making it interesting. Paul Rodriguez right now in that sixth spot. So he's looking pretty safe. Tied with Mikey Taylor with a 7.4. He's, he's doing good. He's got a little bit of freedom sitting in fifth place right now. Woo! For a Nolly 360. Back to Nolly 360 heel. It, it, it's still like. It's hard for me to comprehend that these are the type of tricks that we're watching in the skateboarding context. These are the kind of things that you look at a magazine and you know a guy worked all day to try and make a trick like this. Or, oh. or, or a, video, a video part. But uh, that this is happening here at this level of, of, of competition, I incredible. Rob, your thoughts? I mean, I'm more blown away right now that Nigel Houston and Shane O'Neill, arguably the two best guys in this league. Wow! Woo! Next to, of course, the one and only Tory Pudwell. <laughs> Mr. Excitement. You know, hey, he was sitting on the edge right there in eighth place with a 6.7. He needed to do something big. And big nine. risk comes big reward. That's a 9.0. He joins the nine club. That is a big time trick in a big time setting. Beautiful nollie flip backs that lip slide right there. Executed perfectly. But again, guys, we got the two most prolific guys sitting in ninth and 10th on the bubble could be eliminated. It is completely unpredictable. I'm also looking for a nollie flip cricket ground. He's in fifth right now, so I think he's feeling pretty good. The story right now is what's going on with Shane O'Neill, Nigel Houston. Paul Rodriguez is the closest man to catch. Him and Mike have to be careful. Here he comes. Chris Cole. Looking for a 360 ollie to frontside 50-50. Chris Cole sitting in fourth place. He's safe. He can take some risks like that. The question is, is Niger going back to where he left off, or are we going to see a new trip? Oh, wow. Well, that just answered that. Tori Pudwell got a nine for a nollie foot backside lip slide forwards. Niger Houston answered with a nollie heel backside lip slide faking. He got an 8.2. Well, just like that, Nigel Houston bumps himself into third place. Feeling good, feeling safe right now. The story's about Shane and Paul right now. Battling it out to get above water. Yeah, just like that, he, he put he put Paul Rodriguez uh, downstairs in the basement and said, hey, I'm sorry, man. I'm trying to move on. Mikey Taylor definitely going to need something to be safe. Kind of like on the bubble. There is 
Mikey. Heading back to that rail. Again, folks, eight skaters are going to move on into the line section. Two are going to be going home early. Paul Rodriguez right now is in that nine spot on the outside looking in. What's he going to do about it? Well, it's kind of Paul's least signature move right now, the nolly late front foot flip. Jazz in, in, in seventh place right now. Should Paul and Shane O'Neill um, move up the board, Jazz would find himself moving down. So. I think Jazz is showing a little bit of concern right there, and that's why he's trying such a difficult trick. Although Mikey and Paul Rodriguez are tied for eighth place because my, uh, Paul qualifies, his qualifying score is a little bit higher, that would be the deal in the tiebreaker right now. All right, good note. Tori Pudwell. Doing a little bit more for the fans than he needs to. He's sitting good at first about, place. How about that Tori Pudwell is sitting in first right now, the highest score with that nine. Just joined the nine club. It's yeah. exclusive club. Well, there's four guys in the nine club now. Oh. Gotta, feel good. You gotta feel good if you're Sean Walter right now in sixth place in your hometown. Yeah, all you need to do is qualify. Here in the fifth attempts, Chris Cole. So critical. Backside, he's blind for a second with the backside 180. For the next 180, he makes that 360. He's trying to land in 50-50 on the hover. Nigel had us uh, a little concerned. That was a tricky start in the trial. Let's see what the judges would have gave that. That cost him his first couple attempts. Woo! He had he's his backside tail slide, big spin out. We're not concerned anymore. A 9.4. Wow, steady skating in that nine club. Why were, why, why were we even doubting if any of this was going to happen? I mean, I don't know, man. I guess we're just used to watching the big stuff, so. <laughs> Woo! Checkley, huge hard flip. Feeling himself right now. The crowd's feeling him. I like seeing a big smile on Sheckler's face. Yesterday in qualifying, there were no smiles. There was no interaction with the crowd. It was just Brian Sheckler yelling at his skateboard saying, why? figured it out in our last chance qualifier earlier today and it's staying consistent. Michelle, uh, this, this Shane O'Neill factor really has me concerned. His average landed trick is a 5.5. He needs a 7.4 or greater to get in there. That's a great point. Yesterday in qualifying in the tech section, that was his average score of 5.5. Well beneath what you're going to need to qualify right now, the level of skateboarding has surged. Michael Taylor, he's in the eighth spot. He'd like to change that. He's he tried to fall. He has to fight to fall off. That was a trick that he made, but upgraded right there. So switch 270 to front board. He's trying to do a switch 270 to front feeble. Take that score up a little notch. Bump the ball out of the ball. Pressure just keeps rising. It's only the first section. I mean, so it's serious. only the first section, Sal. Trying to close in that Dolly 360 heel flip. Let's see. Paul Rodriguez is going to have one more attempt at that Dolly late front flip flip. Where's Shane O'Neill going? And again, of no switch foot, backside tail slide. I think he wanted to come out to a 70. It caught him a little bit. Needs a 7.5. Don't know if that's enough, Sal. 6.8. I see um, Paul Rodriguez. Saw him nursing a little bit there after that last attempt. Again, Mikey Taylor and Paul Rodriguez is tied with a 7.4. However, uh, if they end in a tie because Paul Rodriguez qualified higher, uh, he would move on. That would be the, the tiebreaker. So. He will nudge Mikey out. So it's really going to come down to those last two tries these guys have. I love feeling this out here. See those 
those technical tricks that can kind of get you. It's a nollie flip. He's trying to land it a quick run. He landed too high on the deck. Went to rail slide. Just a poor mission right there. Save yourself. Yeah, save yourself. You slam. Oh, coming in hot. Still like one of the most creative skateboarders out there. It's his unpredictable style that just makes him so exciting to watch. I've seen that yesterday in practice. He did a big spin of frontside hurricane. He came out forward. I've never seen that trick before at all. It's going to be our last tries. Paul Rodriguez and Shane O'Neill are on the outside looking in. We have two more attempts in the tech section. But Nigel Houston, the 9.4 biggest score so far, is he on the road to $150,000? Stay with us. Welcome back, folks. Sprint Center, Street League Skateboarding. It's Playoff Sunday, and it feels like playoffs here. As we are in the tech section, big scores, amazing tricks going down. Rob Dyrdek, your thoughts with two attempts yet to go, and Shane O'Neill on the outside looking in. I mean, I'm baffled. This is the guy that scored 43 points yesterday in this section. He's one of the most prolific ledge skaters alive. But the reality of it is here is on this final try, one trick can knock out both Paul Rodriguez and Mikey Taylor at once. So let's see how it goes down. I mean, this is it. Skating for survival right now. We are in the seventh attempt. I thought we had two to go. This is, this is it. This is it. Last go for all these guys. Sometimes these guys are going to be doing it for the crowd. And sometimes these guys are going to be doing it for their life. Ryan Sheckler out of San Clemente, California. Wow, he tried to flip out of that half cap of back spin. But he's safe in that three spot. That one was for the crowd. But we've got Mike Taylor and Shane O'Neill. They are on the bubble outside looking in. Good marks. You know, I, really put on a, a great show for his first final in Street League. Yeah, yeah, he started off with that cat flip, he was up at the top. Mike right. Taylor really needs to lay this down right here. Mike, Mike Taylor needs to lay this down. Oh, man! Oh, man! He wanted it, he got it. Switch 270 to front feeble. Mikey Taylor, such clutch delivery right there. That was game time. Mikey nice. surged up to the fourth spot with that trick right there. Oh, this is crazy. Oh, man, Sal, this is just the first section right now. Look at the pressure on Paul Rodriguez right now. But you know what? He loves Mike. He has a smile on his face, kind of. He needs a 7.7. Oh, man. Oh. We've just lost Paul Rodriguez. That was amazing, man. Mikey Taylor knew that he was tied with Paul Rodriguez, and if it came down to a tie, Paul Rodriguez was gonna, was, was gonna move on. The only comforting thing right there, Sean for Paul, is that his best friend there. Paul Rodriguez had the showers. What? Ortiz may get caught by Shane O'Neill. It's all right on this go right here. Shane heading to that bench, and I think he's looking for a Switch back and look tail slide. Ah, 270 out. Good guy, O'Neal. is heading home. And we have our final eight. So our eight are locked and loaded. Nigel Houston gets a nice little bonus, $5,000 for the best trick of sex for the left. Tory Pudwell got him right there. Oh! oh. tory has got a mortgage payment. 9.1, what? Mr. Nine Club. The level of skating just continues to go up. Sean Malto has this entire building on his back. It's gonna be exciting to see how he uses that energy. Moving forward. Chris 
Cole just trying to innovate in the middle of this environment. Backside 270 to no slide. Well, here is the man. Nigel as well, Mr. Innovation. Big spin to frontside hurricane. I can't believe I'm calling tricks that have never happened before, just like right before my eyes. <laughs> it's so tongue twisting. Well, we have got our eight locked in. Nigel Houston started off slow and then banged out our best trick with a 9.4. Joining him, Budwill Sheckler, Michael Taylor, Billy Marks, Cole, Malto, and Ortiz. And Erica Yeri, the fourth member of our team, is with Paul Rodriguez, who did not make the cut. Yeah, Paul, unfortunately, you didn't make the cut today. I, I, we're all rooting for you out here. I mean, how hard is this competition out here? These guys are all throwing it down. You're barely edged out. It's extremely hard. You have to, like, be able to land really hard stuff on the drop of a dime. So, yeah, it's super hard. Thought I was going to squeeze in there for a second, and Mikey took me out, which is all good. It's my friend, so I'd rather not be taken out by anyone else, you know, so. Um, just back to the drawing board and hopefully come back next time stronger. We're very excited to see you in the next competition and a great job out there today. Hope to see you in the top next time. Thank you very much. Well, you said it, uh, knocked out by the friend, Paul Rodriguez, we'll see him in Arizona. Mikey Taylor stepping up to the plate when he needed to. Nigel Houston, though, the man to beat. Our line section coming up next. Welcome back, folks. Besides the barbecue, there's all sorts of great music, great jazz, great blues here in Kansas City. We were out listening to some great music last night. But here inside Sprint Center, this crowd fired up for skateboarding. Hey, NBA Finals continuing with a critical game six tonight on ABC. Dwayne Wade, LeBron James in the heat, trying to stave off elimination, hosted the big German Dirk Nowitzki and a Mavericks team that is on some blue-collar hard work right now, looking for its first ever NBA championship. Dallas, of course, with an amazing somehow having a lead, three to two. NBA Finals on ABC at eight Eastern, covering beginning tonight at 7.30 Eastern with the Buick Regal NBA Countdown. You can also see this game on ESPN 3D. But what better way to set the table for that game six with some, uh, some playoff skateboarding and this tech section that we just got through, Felix, take us through it. We got Billy Marks right there. He was the leader for a squat with that cab flip. Then comes Sheckler with the never done before half cap to backside spin, backside with 80. Then we got Tory Poe with the nolly flip, backside lip slide. Tory Poe was the first person ever to score two nines in one section. Incredible. And of course, Nigel Houston. He's been our leader all season. He has emerged to become the most prolific competition skateboarder out there. There he is with our Monster Energy best trick for the tech section. Kickflip backside tail slide, big spin out on a handrail. You just don't see those. Makes it look so easy. Speaking of Monster Energy, yeah. let's uh, throw it out there to Rob. Absolutely insane. I, I'm Mikey Taylor. <laughs> Switch 270 to frontside feeble. I've never seen anybody do it. I mean, to save his life and, and, and the person who paid the price, Paul Rodriguez. And really, the most shocking, Shane O'Neill, the best ledge skater alive, could not land a single trick. I can just tell you he's, he's in shock right now. But as we move on, elimination's time, and it's, it's back to the line section where it's going to be another tough battle. And we'll see who's going home, who's moving on for the $150,000. I can't wait. Thanks, Rob. Well, there you're taking a look at Mikey Taylor. And uh, let's get to know him in his Streets of the League piece. When I first started skating, I just saw like a couple of my friends doing it. So I just grabbed the board. I just want to kind of fit in. But when I was growing up, it, there was no skate parks. There was no vert ramps. It was like skating wasn't cool. It wasn't like allowed. No one really did it. I got sponsored by a real company when I was a senior. So I was like 18. The crazy part is all my friends were sponsored way before me. I was like the last one. I think that's kind of what helped me 
kind of get there. It was like everybody else was so good, everyone else was sponsored, so it kind of gave me like a, something to thrive for. Street League is the closest basically thing to street skating as far as like a contest version of it. Basically you get into Street League by what you do in the streets, in, in videos, video parts, etc., photos, whatever. If you're just a strictly contest dude, that's all you do, I don't think you're getting in Street League. It's more like for street skaters. Mikey Taylor, great guy. Great to see him performing at this level. This crowd is fired up. We got eight skaters remaining, and we're gonna drop two more in the line section next. Welcome back, folks. You see fans piling in. And our sponsor, Village Rob here, decided to bring out the world's biggest skateboard. Fans are having a blast out there getting to interact with some of their favorite professional skateboarders. And there you see this crowd that has been supporting skateboarding all weekend. Nigel Houston dominating stop one in Seattle. Over 100 points. Let's hear Nigel break down the monster winning formula. My winning strategy was just like a good balance between doing hard checks to get you those good points and staying consistent, you know? That's the main thing that matters. Like if you fall on a check, you have to do something harder that's gonna get you to the top because that's where you want to be. So that's always just a lot of mo motivation and just concentration just trying to do it. Yeah, this course is a lot different than the other ones, uh, which I think is good. You know, you don't want the same kind of course every time. I think I can have a little more fun this time, you know, not like I feel like I have so much pressure on myself or not getting get as nervous, you know? So I think this time I'll uh, be a little more relaxed and I think that should help me. Amazingly mature and focused at 16 years of age, uh, young Nija, as we take a look at this line section. Oh, it's gonna be fun, Felix. In the line section, you're gonna have to make two tricks to get a total score. Yesterday, the standouts in the line section were Nija and Chaz Ortiz. You have an uh, option to go over the stairs right there, or skate that ledge, which we call a hubba. It's kind of in between. It's almost as narrow as a rail. This part is very, very interesting because a couple cats chose to slide across that entire ledge, which is 40 feet long, and then a couple guys skipped the first section, just did two tricks quickly right there over that grass patch at the end. So two tricks on this line section. Now, folks, We'll, we'll, we'll judge the two tricks, and these guys are gonna get five attempts. Um, we'll carry over the score from that best trick section, and now we're gonna add these scores, these five attempts, to the scores from the best trick section. And the line section. Here we go, folks. Now, Chaz Ortiz, one of the reasons why he did so well in this, con in this section is he, ha he does a long frontside five over and across this entire Solid tricks in his line. 360 flip over the blocks. Kick flip backside lip gets him a 6.3. What's the strategy uh, here now that we've routed our best trick element and it's cumulative scores? These five scores. You definitely want to make all your lines. The judges are actually judging both tricks equal. So they both have to be equally critical. Right there, you see Sean Michael with a switch back side 5 0 and then a fakey front lip fakey. And Malto breaking into that good solid score of a 6.3. You want to be around a mid fives and up, correct? Definitely mid fives and up. Just going to choose the short now. That's a fakey. And that switch back side lip side, he stuck when he landed. Saw him make that line yesterday yep. uh, in qualifying. And Malto was a fakie to backside lip side, but a fakie to frontside lip side. He ends up frontside switch dance. That's more of your standard line right there. Get one up your belt. Get the foot right in the backside lip slide. Again, this is Billy Mark's first final. 
Judges noticed that was a more of a conservative line to get the 2.5. Mikey Taylor riding by after that dramatic. And that best trip, Crosby getting behind Mikey. How can you not? I mean, he's one of the happiest, nicest people in skateboarding. It's a 4.9 for that line right there. And then it's solid with the switch fever grind off the loading dock. And we're going to take you on board with Brian Sheffler here with this DC cam. really working the course right there. Giving you that real authentic skate video perspective. And uh, it really shows you the dimension of what's going down when you get that follow cam. Well, the DC cam was perfect, especially for that trick choice where he did the nose grind over into the bank. That fish eye really gives you, you know, the perspective of the entire option. with 4.9. Who was destroying that long long flat ledge yesterday. Sheckler's already started off way better than he did yesterday with that 4.9. currently in third place. And I just seems to have found his stride again. Now he can on this side. This is yeah. Yeah. And that, that's For him, that was He's just stoic. so mellow. Stoic. Be interesting to see what gets this kid excited. Kick flip back, side lip slide. Now, there's a little four foot grass patch there that you gotta clear. And then the fall away, there's another two stairs you gotta clear as well. A little bit more than meets the eye. Nigel with a 6.7. Stabs with a flip 50 50. Kick flip back, side tail side transfer. Kick flip front side, front side transfer. No, he's kind of going straight over. It's your call. Either way, he's flipping his board to each obstacle. It's going to be a great score right there, 6.2. Chaz Ortiz leading the line section. Strong section for Chaz. Really, really critical to stay consistent with these five tip attempts. Cumulative score. just to maintain the level of difficulty on each trick. You gotta keep them both even. Judges know what's going on. They don't wanna see basic lines. They don't wanna see a setup trick for a big payoff at the end. They don't wanna see the lucky first trick and then a safety at the end. You gotta maintain a really high level of difficulty trick line. for something to go wrong. Yeah, and he makes it look like a setup. And then the front side board slide, one would think he's just going to fake it. He turns it around all 360. It's a 7.1. Re rewarding Chris goal. This is Billy Mark's weaker section, and that bail right there and the setup line before kind of shows why he was one of the lower guys in this section yesterday qualifying. And, and it's critical because if you look, you know, Billy Marks right now is in that eight spot. Again, we're going to be dropping two more skaters here in this section. We're only taking six to move on to the big section. Billy's kind of known for single trick, real explosive stuff. Like, it's not really his forte lines. Although he does have those tricks. But if your first trick is too explosive, you might not have the energy to get that second trick. Looking for that 40 foot front side lip slide. You know the tricks across that flat bar? You just feel the whole audience step on board. Yeah. Halfway through, it's kind of like a train. <laughs> You're picking up people as you go along to the final destination. It's a big oh, that spin line lifts it back up to rail slide. These combinations are just mind blowing. That's one of his trademarks, correct? Yeah, definitely. You don't see those a lot of competition. And in comes that guy. That guy. That guy. Just having so much fun out there. Lines for days. Able to keep that level of difficulty there. 6.7 for Nigel Houston. We got three more attempts for these guys. Which six are gonna move on to the big section on the road to the big money? Nigel Houston is in the lead.
Skate Center is fired up here. Packed house for Street League Skateboarding, second stop of the season. We are in the midst of the tech section. Nigel Houston, our number one qualifier, also in the lead, followed by Ortiz, Malto, Tori Budwill, who is skating like a madman. Uh, Cole, Sheckler, Taylor, and Marks. Of note, we're only taking six riders. Two are going to join Paul Rodriguez and Shane O'Neill. Jazz Ortiz is coming up, but uh, of note, Felix, what are the three, three attempts to go, and Mikey Taylor's in the same position he was. A familiar uh, position where he came through with the move that saved him. But for Billy Marks, this is his lowest scoring section. He has to really dig deep if he's going to make it out of here. Jazz <laughs> Ortiz extremely comfortable in the line section. He was the second highest scoring guy in the line section yesterday behind Nigel. I mean, it's like, it's all Nigel's business. Either, Nigel's either driving or he's sitting in shotgun. <laughs> all business. Leavenworth, just 20 miles outside of downtown Kansas City. This whole arena is riding for him. You can hear the crowd reacting to his score of a 7.2. I mean, he's a previous winner, Sal. It shows in his skateboarding. If he wins here, we're going to make this a convertible arena. Chris Cole also would like to of that. Chris Cole is, you know, he still has to put down something. He's in the fifth spot right now. Exactly a comfortable spot to be in when you're only taking six people into the big section. Indeed, again, we accumulate five scores. Oh, big right there. Skateboarding right there. Felix, you said it right off the top. You said he had to do something as a dig as deep as he could. And he's just not as strong as section. He gets an 8.2 about winning in four He went from eight to four. Huge jump right there. Now Ryan's on the outside looking at Woof. You can see it on Ryan Sheffield's face. He knows he needs to get it done. His pole just slid out, and Mike Taylor just slid in. We got Sheckler now up to fourth place. We got Mike Taylor bumped out. We got Tony Pub on the bubble. And we got Chris Cole at the bottom of the bubble. Chris Cole needs to get to that mid section. Tony Pub, though, he wants up. He's chasing Billy Marks. He's only 0.5 behind him. He catches him, jumps up into third place. Mike Taylor and Chris Cole have some thinking to do right now. Knocking on the door. Our winner here, stop two. Nigel Houston already deposited a $150,000 check in Seattle at stop one. I'm sure he would like to do it again. And Houston slides back up to the top spot. Rob, what do you think about Chaz Ortiz here, Nigel Houston? Wow, look at that. Look at that. I mean, it's. It's a race. This one's about points. You can't afford three bales in here. You can get away with two. And, and you know, with a big grind like that, already having a big lead, that's a big-time maneuver. I was calling that the conveyor belt grind. It looks like baggage at the conveyor belt, the airport. It just sticks into, like, a little statue form. Comes around that whole rail right there. Look at the kids' faces. Look at his feet. Hey, you can know without a doubt right now, Chris Cole is, is feeling the pressure. Two bales. Oh, yeah. And that's... That's tough, because not only are these guys, you know, adding all these extra points up here on the top, but they're, he's, he's got to land some tricks and not get eliminated. He's going to the third point line and get back in there. Oh, he's going to get the third right there. Oh, he's going to get the third right there. He's going to get the third right there. 
So if you're the hometown, that home field advantage, mm -hmm. the rails just slide for the kick, because he's in his hometown. 5.2 from Malto bumps him up into second Thanks. place. And as Rob was just explaining, Chris Cole. a better line right there. Flipped in both maneuvers, 8.3. Moves him right into the fifth spot. Man, the lead changes, and, and it's, it's really dramatic, man. Once again, Billy Marks has to dig. He starts off with the five over right That's just not going to do it. That's not going to do it right there. He needed to kick flip to that five over grind, and he probably needed to kick flip to that hurricane as well. Did he perhaps dig as deep as he could? Double-flip, triple-flip combo. We got Mikey Taylor right now. All he needs is a 2.5 line to get in there. Hope he's doing his math. Switch fans back to 50 Not a bad start. Again, we got these guys getting... Five total attempts. That's going to give him a 2.5 or greater. To 4.2, moves him back into six, and Billy Mark slides out. Shekels needs that line right now. right now. He moves all the way up in the fourth spot. Now we took the grind. Tony Powell's in fifth. Oh, man. Three tricks in one. Yeah, he gets, I, I think he was going right for that backsmith and landed in a 50-50. But when your first intention was a backsmith, sometimes your body just keeps going for it. Final attempts here in the line section. Billy Marks, Mikey Taylor would like to make the cut. We are only taking six. Two skaters will join Paul Rodriguez and Shane O'Neill. Right now, Chad Ortiz is sitting in the top spot. Average score of 6.6. .6. The two highest scoring line guys, the two highest pops. to make this line secure his spot. He's not making this easy on Mikey. Boy, that trick was cold. Right See what the score is. In the sixth position, pumps him up at 5.4 into fourth. Now Tori is in a difficult spot right now because Mike is looking at him as a stop right now. He needs a 3.1. And Billy Marks is eliminated. Great showing for Billy Marks. Question is, can Mikey Taylor catch Tory Pudwell? He needs a 3.1 or better to do so. Mikey Taylor in the same position that he was in just before he the delivered. best trick. Can he deliver again? First trick down. He needs a big one here to close it out. Yes. Oh, Sal. We say goodbye to Mikey Taylor. Rob's jumping up and down. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing showing for Mikey Taylor. All he needed was a 3.1. Yep. Well, you know, Mikey Taylor's go-to trick is the Nolly when he to switch crooked grind. He went to his go-to trick, and he only caught his tail on there. It surprised him. He lost it. Well, now it's about stacking points. Yep. 
Remember, we're accumulating all these points towards your total. I have scored. He's getting you $150,000. And Shepard's in stride to go to this big section. The elimination part is over, but these last attempts all counting towards the total. Stacking points right now. Nigel makes this line right here. He's going into the top spot. He's going to the My man, Sal, you know he just got his license. That's probably why he's been driving this whole contest. <laughs> Nigel Houston in qualifying. Does he catch Chaz Ortiz for the lead spot? Scored over 100 points and was just Mr. Consistency. He says he puts a lot of pressure on himself, but you just wouldn't be able to tell from the way he carries himself. Never in skateboarding, in any action sports, have we had this much information at our fingertips thanks to this ISX system. I mean, right now, we're watching these guys just bubble back and forth, jump from spot to spot, and now, here are our standings. We're waiting for that score from Nigel, a little technical difficulty. But uh, as it stands right now, Ortiz in first, Malto, Nigel, and Pudwell rounding out the back. We got Chris Cole and Ryan Sheckler in there, and Mikey Taylor and Billy Marks. Uh, their day is over, but a great showing and fine skateboarding for both those guys over the entire weekend. And Erica, right now, Gary is with Chaz. Ortiz, our, pres our present leader. That's right. Chaz, you are doing incredible out here. What do you think it's going to take to, you know, step it up, stay in the lead, you know, come up on top of Nija this yeah. time around? Um, I mean, it's going to be hard, you know, to the big section, so we'll just see what happens there. I'm just going to try my best. We're just having fun. That's it. Well, you're doing great out there. Is there anything that you think that you're going to throw out today that might be a little bit different than what we've seen in the past? Um, I'm not sure yet. I don't know. I'm just going to skate, see whatever comes to my mind. <laughs> all right, well, good luck out there, Chaz. Thank you so much. Professional all business for the man out of Chicago at 16 years of age. As we get set for the big section, let's, uh, let's get to know Tori Pudwill. It's time for our monster mic'd up. We caught up with Tori Pudwill at practice. Crazy, man. What up, David? Oh, I don't know. These dudes are just um, ESPN. <laughs> You're like, I'm staying away from this guy. He's got a microphone on. Oh, I got a wedgie. Oh, God. So sorry. Thank you. That was speeding. <laughs> that one's scary, dude. I get it, dude. No one wants to hang out with me because I got a mic on. He is. Play that funky music one I want. It's cool, dude. It's cool. Mind if I take this thing off? Is that cool? Skateboarding is full of colorful characters. Tori is one of them. The big section is coming up with all the money. Exciting line section, getting into the big section, coming up next. Hey, Major League Baseball continuing on ESPN tonight and tomorrow night. First, Sunday Night Baseball at 8 Eastern. It's Joey Votto leads Cincinnati into San Francisco for a meeting, for a meeting with the Giants then. Tomorrow 
170s to Derek Jeter. Continuing his pursuit of 3,000 hits as the Yankees host the AL Central leading Indians. Major League Baseball on ESPN tonight and tomorrow night. Both games also available online at ESPN3.com and on your phone. Hey everybody, Sal Masekela here, joined with Felix Arguez. In your two decades as a professional street skater, where, do, where does this moment rate what we're experiencing here. You know what I figured out? These guys grew up on video games. We're watching some video game stuff right now. That's what's going on. Indeed, what we just saw in the line section was incredible. Uh, Malto, uh, Houston, Ortiz really just stepping their game up and stacking points. You know, it just seems to be like Nigel's driving or he's sitting shotgun. Malto, hometown favorite, is so smooth here that Nolly Fievel right there and then the Nolly frontside feeble grind right there now, Knight has been leading in the line section, completely casual, completely smooth, and he ends that line with a quick foot back side the side. I mean, everything looks so effortless. Following up in shotgun, young Chaz Ortiz, real comfortable with this long over. That's 40 feet right there. Indeed, that long 40-footer is, uh, is popular with the crowd, popular with the judges. A lot of scenarios, though, at stake as we're moving into the big section. And Rob Deerdick, I know you're doing the math right now. What are some of your thoughts as we head into this big section? I'm, I'm just more blown away. I, I, you know, it never ceases to amaze me what a shootout these contests are. We got three guys right at the top there, Chaz, Nija, and the hometown hero, Malto. So you know when he's putting down the tricks right now, this place is gonna be going crazy. I'm nervous, I got that pit in my stomach. I just don't know what's gonna happen. I know Sheckler's gonna be going crazy. I know Chris has got huge tricks. I just, I can't wait for it all to go down. The commissioner is fired up, the David Stern of the Street League. Hey, you've seen there's so many characters in skateboarding. These guys do amazing tricks on their skateboards, but they're fun dudes. They like to break up the tension and have some fun. Let's uh, check out the lighter moments of Street League, brought to you by DC Unilite. for miles these guys have and look at the local contingent the Malto fans is he gonna do it here in his hometown he's won one before coming up the big section welcome back folks the streets and the city Hosting Street League, stop two. Sal Masekela joined by Felix Arguez, Rob Dierdick, and Eric Ayari. And this is it, Felix. We are heading into the big section. But hey, we got four stops on this tour this season. Glendale, Arizona, July 16th and 17th. We're going to need our sunblock. It's going to be hot. And then August 28th, we're wrapping things up in New Jersey. And remember, the champ getting $200,000. Defending champ right there is Nigel Houston. He's getting ready for the best trick. And he's also right now, uh, he's our man with our Monster Energy best trick so far. Kick flip backside tail slide, big spin out, 9.4. You don't see those other hands too often, Sal. $15,000 going to that best trick overall. Well, what are we going to expect here on this big section? What is it designed for? Well, obviously to go big, but what's interesting about this big section is that there's no rail. So that could be a deciding factor for these guys if they can adjust to, you know, big flip tricks or just, you know, a hubba trick. That missing rail could be an issue. See, we got an option for the kicker that, you know, it's kind of like a lawn tramp over the entire ledge of the flat. It's Provided some of the highest points yesterday with Nigel Houston doing that nollie inward heel flip. There's an obstacle that's a little less skated, uh, uh, a trick into that triangle in the center. And then again, there's the option to just blast over that entire triangle or Ollie just onto the ledge and grind down. But that missing handrail 
could be the factor here, Sal. Chaz Ortiz presently in the lead. Nija Houston is right behind him. Malto, Sheckler, Chris Cole, and Tori Budwill. This is the Build My Parents Big Money Leaderboards, friends. These six dudes, $150,000 is a chance for one of them. One of them to take home that check. Is it going to be Nigel Houston again? I mean, it could be, Sal. Could He's it be? really well-rounded. He seems to be the strongest force in competitive skateboarding right now. And there you see our start list. Troy Pudwell, Cole, Sheckler, Malto, Houston, and Ortiz. Or maybe it's going to be, you know, th this could be the time, this momentum for Ryan Sheckler that started, you know, earlier in the afternoon in the last chance qualifier. He could get his first Street League win today. This is a really great section for Sheckler. Sheckler's been known to soar high in the sky. Mm. We've seen huge 360s off that kicker. We've seen a cab flip off that kicker. This could be Sheckler's moment. Tory Budwell. Going down on the 360. It's a big 360 right there. Usually Pudwell's just stamping down. But remember, these guys are not the points. So each miss is critical to your point total. Chris Cole warming things up. Bigger miss, greater reward, all tricks count. Instantly scored by an ISX. with a monster 360. Safe to say that the kid is feeling it. Yep, definitely showing Ooh. Tory Powell how to stuff a 360 alley and a couple feet higher than his since he hit it off the kicker. 7.8 for Sheckler. He's got to get five attempts. He's going to score all five attempts. Sean, put that in your point bank. And uh, Sean Malto had a real comfortable big section yesterday with a 30.1, so... It's looking good for the hometown hero. Oh, man. Went for the hard flip. Total contest dedication. It had it flipped all the way, and it took it all the way to the ground, still waiting to see if maybe it would edge over back onto the wheels. In comes Chaz Ortiz. Chaz Ortiz definitely making up for the fact that the rail's not there, because Chaz has a a specific signature trick, the kickflip frontside feeble run that always scores him really big in the big section. He can't pull that one out on this obstacle. Because there's not a rail there. Exactly. Man. Tori still wants to stack those 360 alley points in. He's not going to score as high as Ryan's, but it's still a great score with a 6.2. Because Ryan took it off the kicker. Yes and probably we could say maybe three feet high. Right. Here comes Chris Cole. Nice perspective from him on that DC cam. Chris Cole is really out here to play. Two makes, progressively tricks getting harder. Is Move. that his strategy? Moving up the that, board right now. So that blunt slide was sort of like, okay, you, get, you gotta get those legs working. You gotta shake the butterflies if there is any left over. Oh. Saw Sheckler nail that 360 flip. Right. Question is, is he going to go back for it now? Alto, the slow and steady, consistent approach. Tricks just above par, technical wise. You know, he could have done a nose grind. He chose to do a nolly nose grind. He always stays above average with his tricks, and the consistency doesn't hurt. <laughs> Missed the hard flip once. Second time, boom. 5.1 for that hard flip. Chaz yeah. Ortiz, second go here. What? Chaz Ortiz is looking really strong out there. Molly big spin over the Miami Triangle. And look at how close the point gap is between first, second, and third. Center. Oh, yeah, it starts to get real tight here in the big section. Halfway through the big section. Just like that, we're already in our third attempts. Toy Pudwell, nice, 5.7. Excuse me, seven attempts. 
Seven attempts here on this big section. Oh, man! How did he even recover that? Switch hard flip. So Nigel does a regular hard flip, and he gets a 5.1. Chris Cole does a switch hard flip and gets a 6.8. These guys are so good <laughs> that they stay equally good either stance. Focus. Oh. Perfect 360 flip that he missed before. It's a 4.9 for it. The judges want that 360 flip off the kicker, Sal. They want these guys in orbit. That trick right there, Sal, I think is so critical, although he does it so casually. To Nolly, the stand-up backside nose grind. I mean, a Nolly to Crooked grind's a little bit more stable, but to be able to balance it on your front truck, no nose, no back truck, it's incredible. 6.2. And the crowd goes back because their boy, Sean Malto, just moved into first place. Really one of the most guys ever. Oh, this kid's serious. Oh, yeah. This kid's really serious. Nolly back here could have been done a little bit better, but it's definitely gonna get a good score. Jumbotron, he gets a 5.8. Ortiz, perfect backside flip. Looking real strong, currently in second place. Is this his day, Sal? Could be. He had a long road trip, 500 miles in I mean, the car with his family. He drove he, here, he might as well be driving the contest. He just drove in the first place, halfway through. Who's it gonna be? This big section's gonna decide $150,000 on the line. Welcome back, friends. Crowd inside Sprint Center, pumped for skateboarding here at stop two of Street League. Hey, the NBA Finals continue with game six tonight on ABC. Dwayne Wade, LeBron James in the heat, trying to stave off elimination from Dirk Nowitzki and a focused Mavericks team that are ahead 3-2, looking for their first championship. NBA Finals on ABC at 8 Eastern. Coverage beginning tonight at 7.30 Eastern with the Buick Regal NBA countdown. This game also can be seen on ESPN 3D. In this scenario that we're in right now, this leaderboard looking very familiar. Rob Deerdick, your thoughts? I can barely breathe right now. I don't even know what to say. I mean, I, it is a full-fledged shootout. Nobody's missing anything. We just saw the switch hard flip from Chris Cole. We never seen that. Chaz and Malto battling once again. Is it going to come down to the final trick? Is Chaz going to make it this time? Is Malto going to win? Is Schechter going to catch up? Is Nigel going to do it? I don't know. I can't <laughs> wait to see it, though. Oh my the com God. The commish is fired up. If we could slow mo that, <laughs> we could probably process all that information. Amazing, Rob. Is Chaz Ortiz going to get vengeance? Is he going to get his first win? He got a new story out here. Tori Pudwell wants to get it done. This is our fourth attempt of seven that we are in right now. He gets a 6.6 .6 for that Nolly Backside Smith ground. You don't see those too often. Pretty critical on that hover. Largest scores in Street League history. Moves him up into third place. Solid score, 7.0 for Chris Cole. Big question is where is Sheckler going? Big. Oh, oh man. man! It's showtime. It's showtime. <laughs> Big scores he needs to catch that leader. He's behind him by 10 points out. That's a really big front I have cap flip right there. And for it, he gets a big score, 8.9 8. 8. 8. for oh, Ryan Sheckler. These guys really go hard in the nine club. Sean Malto, slow and steady, he's been the approach. Been really strong for him. Whoa! Oh, man! Front side quick turn is really critical, but is it going to be enough to catch? Stay there. It's the question. He caught him. Chaz has got a shot right now. There's no more bails allowed. That's basically what it comes down to. 
That's 6.1 for Balto. Oh, man. That's a really critical fail right there for Nija. I think these guys managed to phase the little kid. It's possible. going to create a little bit more space for the hometown hero. The crowd knows what happened right there. The crowd knows what happens right there. Sean Malto is sitting a little safer thanks to Chad Ortiz's bail. The three attempts left. And the oh, man make the Tory Pugwell. That's a He's creeping. He's this, creeping. This is nuts. How can these guys perform at this level with this much pressure? And there's no casual skating going on right now. I mean, every make definitely a face affects everyone's next attempt. Chris Cole steady creeping up. Completely flawless right here in the big section. Nails a 360 ollie. He's closing the gap now. Moves up into the second block, into the second spot. Well, we talked about the fact that they Chris Beauty. His strategy is incredible. He's only 0.3 behind the hometown hero, Sean Balto. The arena wants Balto to win. Balto cannot fall anymore. Oh, man. Oh, man. Flawless. Flawless. Sean Balto just pushing Cole a little bit further away. He's like, stay away, man. This is my arena, man. Woo. Balto just increasing that gap just a little bit. It's a shootout here. Chaz has to go big. Now you can do moving his way back up, but he's 14 points outside. Right now, the guys at the bottom are asking, they need people to bail. If yeah. guys don't bail, you just can't catch them. At this level, I don't know if these guys are going to bail. I don't, I don't know if you guys are going to bail. Chaz. Well, just like that, Nigel only seven behind, but like you said, he needs some people to fall. Could make for Chaz Ortiz, but he's need more than that. Need more than that front side blunt slide. And now you, you get to see how important each make is. The Chaz Ortiz missing that, that fourth attempt. Yep. Put making, him in a precarious and, position. And making that front side blunt slide. Put him in front of Chris Cole. Just barely by 0.1 of a point. And a little bit closer to Sean. Sean is still in the same spot where he cannot bail. Woo. I mean, think about the picture. Hometown hero. All your people are here, and you just can't bail. Chris Cole's doing fun, so he needs to switch the right. Look at Rob right now, he's crumbling. <laughs> oh my goodness, right now. Well, you talked about strategy. That's something that Chris Cole did oh, not Oh, Chris have. Cole's on top. Chris Cole did not have strategy in Seattle, and he came here with a focus yeah! and he a plan. Yeah! He said he was going to let it rip. Go hard, man. Rob, here. Hey, let man, here, Rob. you can't boot Chris Cole because he's putting it down that hard. No, no, no. He's gonna come in here, let it rip. No strategy, he's letting it rip, Rob. Hey, this is Malto's hometown, but Chris Cole wants that victory, and you can tell that he is flawless and putting it down. Chris Cole cannot bail. Malto needs to make this. Oh, oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Did that just the cost unthinkable them? has happened. Did that just cost him the win? Unbelievable. Chaz Ortiz has two tries to make up an eight. Point two to catch Cole, and Cole needs to bail. There's a lot of stuff going on right now. There's a lot of stuff going on right now. Switch Whoa. big heel. Whoa. Switch big heel, Nigel. Whoa. Creeps back up in the second place. Just like that. Nobody can bail. Nobody can bail anymore. Oh, man. Look at that. Perfect switch big heel. Saves it. Nigel, with an incredible comeback, just within those last couple tries, went from the bottom to number two. He's only 3.2 behind our leader, Chris Cole. No. Chris Cole cannot fail. No one can fall. If you want to win, you cannot fall. Oh, man. Chaz Ortiz hits the front at 50 50. Went to people, could have been really ugly, and he pulled it back off. 4.9, moves him to the third spot. He has one more try to catch our leader. He's begging for a bail from Nigel and Cole. Are they going to give him that bail and give Chaz Ortiz his shot? Unbelievable. This, this last attempt is going to be serious. Chris Cole is only, he has to do a lot of strategy right now. He's only three points ahead of Nigel. 
Hey, want to know how these guys approach each section of the course? Go to streetleague.com backslash DC Shoes to find out. Oh, man. The crowd is cheering for Malta. Will he be able to come back and be the hometown winner? Chris Cole in the lead. Last attempts for the 150 grand when we come back. Welcome back, folks. Sprint Center is electric right now as we are headed for the final attempt here in the big section. Less than four points separating first and fourth place. Who is it going to be? Ryan Sheckler and Tori Pudwell mathematically are not going to be able to win. It's between Chris Cole, Nigel Houston, Chaz Ortiz, and Sean Malto. Who is it going to be? Whoever lands the biggest trick is probably going to win this thing. Chris Cole is your leader looking for his first Street League win ever, Felix. Chris Cole was in a similar position in Vegas where he chose an easy route with a kickflip. What he's going to choose to do right now will set the entire platform for the end of this event. Joy Padrillo, great performance all weekend. Oh, my goodness. Front side got all the kick to it. Now you have Jeff Dixon. Call it what you want. He's going big right there. Amazing way to end the event for Tory Padrillo. Indeed, and just like that, he bumped himself up ahead of Sheckler in the fifth place. His money got a little nicer. Going out with a bang, but now, Chris Cole. He must do the thing. Oh, man, you know what? He said he was going to go out swinging. He went out swinging with the Chris Cole signature blizzard flip right there. If these guys make something decent right now, Sal, they bump out for him. Nigel, Jazz Ortiz, and Sean Malta all have an opportunity to win. What are they going to do with this last attempt? Skater. That could be better than actually winning. Not for the bank account, right? But going out that big, oh man. Props to Sheckler. Wow. Props to Sheckler. Again, mathematically unable to get the win. You know what? He won G code. Yes. In the streets. Listen to this crowd. Oh man. Do you want this pressure on your last go, Sal? He needs a four right here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Chaz Ortiz gonna get revenge. This is exciting. But oh listen to this, goodness. this hometown love for Sean Malta. What a great way for Chaz him to... Ortiz and Nigel have been chasing themselves all weekend long. They both need a make right here. The two children in the street league going head to head right now. And Chris Cole, the old man at 29. Holding down the top spot. He's got his fingers crossed. Chaz Ortiz needs an 8.9 for the win. 8.8 for the tie. Does he have it? 8.8 for the win. Oh! Little Chaz Ortiz misses his last go, ends up in third place. Incredible! And once again, the domination continues. Can Nigel be beat? Nigel Houston. He dropped down to sixth place in the final, worked his way back up in the big section. He came so far from behind. Incredible sound. This, this, he's overwhelmed. Look at him. Overwhelmed. Nigel Houston failed two of his first four attempts. His first two scores were under six points. And then his last three, 6.9, 7.7, 8.7, just comes through. That's how you come back. That was incredible. It's unexplainable. And the way all these guys pushed each other, Chris Cole. I, I can't even Chaz imagine. Chaz Ortiz, Malto. I can't imagine what's going through these people's minds right now. Nigel Houston. If, 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 if Sean Malto would have made that nollie nose blood slide, 
That would have bumped him into the first spot. Would Nigel Houston's Nolly Inward heel have caught that? 16 years old, and Nigel Houston is going to deposit his second $150,000 check in the last six weeks. Houston, Cole, Ortiz, Malto, Sheckler, Houston the winner, but really all of us winners from the level of skateboarding that went down here in Kansas City. We'll be back to talk to our champion, Nigel Houston, when we come back. Street League Skateboarding has been brought to you by Monster. Street League Skateboarding's Chris Cole and Shane O'Neill are fueled by Monster Energy. By DC, DC Skateboarding since 1994. By Build My Parents Spend Smart Card, designed for teens, young adults, and their parents. And by Windows 7, all you really need for college at windows.com slash free Xbox. Welcome back. skateboarding today here at stop two of Street League. Nigel Houston, our champ, is with the commissioner, Rob Deerdick, to get his check. I mean, I don't, I'm, I'm absolutely mind blown. One of the most insane endings to a contest in history. Chris Cole, the hometown boy, Sean Malto, Chaz Ortiz, and the champion. Let's give it up for Nigel Houston. I mean, once again, this young man did it on his final trick this time. Usually he's, he dominates, and this time he had to fight for it. Tell me why you chose the Nolly Inward heel, man. You just, you put it all on the line. How'd it feel out there? It felt so good. I mean, I just went for that because I wasn't taking any chances of, uh, like, not winning by, like, a point or something like that, you know? And, uh, Respect to you. Yeah. And it's also the crowd pleaser, you know? You know, you, want, you gotta do something big to soak out the crowd because that's what makes all this possible. Well, once again, Nyjah Houston is a winner at Street League Skateboarding. That nice and heavy trophy and $150,000. All right, let me bring in the guy who did the hardest trick in this entire contest, Ryan Sheckler, come on in here. You are the official winner of the best trick contest. I, I mean, how'd it feel out there? You were flying, your legs must be hurting. Yeah, I'm a little sore, heel bruises, but uh, it was all good, man. Nigel killed it, everybody killed it. That was definitely the best street league we've had yet. The KC crowd is amazing, man. Thanks for having us, and hell yeah. All right, there you have it, and the monster best trick winner, the one and only Ryan Sheckler. Back to you, Sal. Thank you, Commissioner. 15,000 there for Ryan Sheckler. But wow, Felix, we, we were saying during the break, a 16-year-old kid depositing $300,000 in the last six weeks. Uh, is there anybody that can come for Nigel Houston right now? I mean, I don't know, Sal. I don't know what to tell you. The only thing that tops the street league is what tops the next street league. Indeed. There you see the standings. Nigel, well ahead. Ortiz, Cole, and Sheckler. It's going to be a party. It's going to get so much more interesting. Our third stop in Arizona, July 16th and 17th. We cannot wait for that. But what a great, great weekend. Big thanks to all the folks here in Kansas City for hosting us. For Rob Dyrdek, Erica Yeri, and Felix. Sorry, folks, I, was, I thought we were going off the air. There it is right there, 16th and 17th, Glendale, Arizona, on ESPN2. And don't forget the Wonka Free Ride Encore on Facebook.com backslash Street League, directly following our broadcast. That's going to be a funny. For Dyrdek, Gary, and Arguez, I'm Sal Masakela. We'll see you guys in Glendale. Been great hanging out with you, Felix. This was awesome. Where else? But Street League Skateboarding, the DC Pro Tour, fueled by Monster. See you there.
Arizona.